Welcome to another edition of the EU Football Coaches Show. I'm Rick Corey, along with the head coach of the Union Redskins, Kirk Frederick. A really nice night. Five and old team came here. They went home five and one. Yeah, they did. We knew that there was a really good PC North team coming in. I felt like that their coaching staff uh, had done a really nice job in some of the schemes that they worked. Very athletic team. We knew it was going to be tough, kind of on both sides of the football. So our kids prepared uh, very well and had our full attention. And uh, we executed a really good game plan and and wound up having a big win for our homecoming. And executed is the key word there. As we take a look at some of the stats, you're going to see execution here when you look at this. First of all, look at the defensive side. Minus 20 yards rushing for a Putnam North team that, quite frankly, that quarterback's a really athletic player. You know, the, the, you're exactly right. The, some of the rushing yards with, uh, you know, we had the fumbled punt, you know, so some of those negative yards, I don't want to discredit our kids at all because they created those plays, but, you know, that affects it some, but without a doubt, we shut down the running uh, game that Putnam City had, and, and uh, they were able to get a few few yards passing, got, got a couple guys down the field. Some of that stuff was a little bit later in the game, but I was very proud of our defense, the turnovers that they were causing. Uh, I just felt like it was outstanding, and then, you know, running game-wise, you know, at times was a little bit stingy. I felt like they had a really good linebacker, a good nose guard, played very tough in there. But uh, I thought that our quarterback made nice decisions getting the ball out and uh, making some plays out there with Kyler and some of the other receivers. And, of course, the, the things that really jump out at you is when you look at penalties, 25 total penalties yeah. between these two teams. Those guys had to go and buy more cloth at the end of the game. There's, there's no doubt about it. I, I heard someone say, you know, it would been nice maybe if they had a little – you know, string attached to their, their flag or something there. They could have just wound it back up into their pocket. But uh, it wasn't as clean of a game as we wanted to. We had penalties in all three phases. We talked to our players about, um, you know, especially the special teams penalties, those types of things uh, can really hurt you in big games. And then sometimes it's just the nature of how the game goes. And uh, we hope to have those cleaned up. One of the things I did like about that, you looked at 328 yards of offense. In today's world, that doesn't sound like much. Back when you and I played, that was a ton. But the difference is, to me, is how well you're playing on defense. When you're playing that well on defense, 328 is plenty. It is. It is. And when you're getting the ball on the 40 going in uh, because the defense has done some great things or maybe there's a, 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 an issue with the punt uh, situation, they averaged punting 14 yards. Uh, we had a 38-yard average. So it gives your offense a short field. It does. Now our players of the game, let's take a look. Kyler Pearson on offense, he, he always has one of those catches. You're like, how did he do that? Yeah. And he made a great sliding catch inside the 20. Yeah, he did. Uh, Kyler continues to be very consistent. And as small as he is, he's had some outstanding blocks the last few weeks as well. And had nine catches, had a touchdown, and uh, played very well. Was enabled us to to loosen that box up just a little bit by uh, making some of those awesome catches. And then Elijah Tomlin on defense, who I thought was really just com kind of commanded the game. He did. You know, I thought Elijah, you know, probably the best game he's played. You know, he may not show up on a lot of stat sheets coming out of this game, but everything we asked him to do because of that running quarterback and because of some of the schemes that uh, they were running, uh, he just he played outstanding. And uh, for us, We've got to have a guy that can do those kinds of things. And like I said, he, they may have had to run the other side of the field because of him, uh, and he may have not got that play, but uh, all in all, the best game that Tomlin's played. And I'm really happy to see JoJo Nichols on here as our special teams player. He's been really coming on defensively as well. He has. He's played very well. He obviously had an interception again defensively, but, uh, man, what a block kick. and and all those things on special teams, uh, without a doubt, had a huge impact for us. So homecoming, a special night at Union. We're going to see just how special with the first half highlights next on the Union Football Coaches Show. For more than 50 years, Central States Orthopedics and Eastern Oklahoma Orthopedic Center have been the area's leading orthopedic and sports medicine providers. And now we've joined forces as Advanced Orthopedics of Oklahoma. One name, one focus. Excellent orthopedic and sports medicine care. Together, we serve as the team physicians for almost every high school and university in the region. We are the area's leading expert for work-related injuries, and our surgical hospital is the only five-star rated hospital in Tulsa. Advanced Orthopedics of Oklahoma. Come see why we're better together. Union fans, stay connected with your favorite team all year long with the official app of the Union Redskins. A free download in the App Store and Google Play, the Union Redskins athletic app will keep you up to date with all things Union. Schedules, scores, rosters, news, social media, final score notifications, as well as live broadcasts are just a touch away. 
the official app of the Union Redskins. You can download it today for free in the App Store and Google Play. We're back on the Union Football Coaches Show. Let's get right to first half highlights between Union and Putnam City North on homecoming night. Always a fun night, Coach. Oh, it is, and it's fun to see some people coming back. And we had a chance to honor a couple of our state championship teams, soccer and baseball, as well during the game. And so um, I think the 98 class of 98 had a reunion. So it, it was it was a lot of fun to see some of the, the people come back. Start, start off here with the little uh, hand sweep out to to JT McLeod and man what a great block we get on the edge you can see it out to the outside there uh, by Pearson and then uh, Cameron Watts uh, another safety defensive player comes in makes a nice block on the edge gets us out uh, to midfield right off the bat got good block into the to, uh, uh, on the edge there and Darius picks up a few yards very smart decision uh, by Peyton getting the ball out to KP a really nice play uh, stretch the field vertically and, and just off the fingertips. Uh, JT McLeod, kind of his first experience at that, and, and I know he's going to get a lot better. We're going to execute that play uh, in the near future. Great vision there by Darius. Really good protection underneath. I thought the offensive line continues to do that, try to hit the wheel route. We're able to do that later on in the game. Uh, again, really nice protection. Great throw. That's from one hash mark on the deep out route to the far side. Uh, Peyton has such a strong arm and uh, does a nice job. Probably could have had flag number 26, I think. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, missed that call there. But uh, again, Darius is a tough guy. Uh, our offense continues to kind of methodically get down the field, get a nice play out to, to Shadel. Uh, Darius running hard, getting the tough yardage. Uh, I felt like that uh, Putnam City North, you know, they'd only allowed nine points per game up to this point, and I thought defensively they were pretty, pretty athletic and pretty tough. Good block inside there by Q, wrapping around to the edge. Uh, you can see him coming in there, Mason getting a nice play on the quarterback run, and uh, come in to kick a field goal, get that 30-yard field goal. Uh, goes right through the middle right, <laughs> right there with Noah, but uh, again, uh, when you're at home, all those are good, right? Absolutely. Defense comes out, Trey Thompson comes in, and, and you can see that uh, makes a really nice play there with, um, with our defensive line doing a nice job. Uh, again, guys playing really tough. Murdoch in there doing a nice job. Panther doing a nice job. Uh, those guys playing really well. Three and out, gets the ball right back to us. Uh, they make a nice play on the edge. Um, come back here, a little bit of a sprint out pass to the outside, nice throw, and almost uh, get the catch there. Puts us behind the chain just a little bit. And to try the tunnel screen, they are able to sniff that one out. So we got the ball going back to, uh, to our defense, let those guys make some plays. Really nice plays inside, you see Nick Jones. What a great play, Nick, and in there doing a really nice job. Um, they go. Uh, into an empty look to us. We get some more pressure in there. Uh, I thought uh, Stromberg played really well. Ricky had two sacks on the night and did a really nice job for us defensively as well as playing offensive line. Got Rodriguez at guard playing, playing really well. Ryan came in and did a nice job for us. Uh, they do a good job of creating uh, uh, some pressure. A couple of plays here in a row and really love the, the throw and the catch and the patience that Peyton has. Uh, there to KP. Darius runs through a few uh, leg tackles, does a really good job picking up the tough yards. Proud of him uh, and how tough he's running. Good protection, come back here to Xavier Dandridge uh, on the wheel route and uh, uh, we're able to connect and get a touchdown out of it. Nice to have somebody give Darius a rest and yes. be able to do it so effectively. Little, little throwback uh, play there, tailback out, uh, out of the backfield and, and really nice. One thing you, you know when Dawson Prock comes in the game, because he's going to hit somebody, you can see Dawson coming in there and Peoples doing a nice job. Michael Walker, JT McLeod making some nice play. There's Josh Peoples coming back. Ricky Stromberg with another big sack. Uh, gets the, the ball to our offense. Offense um, on uh, Putnam City North end of the field. It's one of those short fields that uh, we talked about. Just off the mark on the pass, we come back. Uh, with Peyton, again, throwing the ball very well. 
throwing that deep out route over there to, to Kyler and uh, just finding a way to get open. Nice job uh, picking up a few bonus yards there with our quarterback, a little power play there, good protection, great throw, great catch on the curl route out there to Jaquay Shavers. Jaquay did, uh, did a nice job bringing that ball down. Good blocking, Gabe Cantu up front, knocking the guys off the ball. And I love this play here. Q Barnes out there running the edge. You get a guard doing that, that's pretty good. These guys, again, look at the block by Brock Henry. Brock Henry playing tight end has been so consistent for us. You can see him in there. Of course, you get Nick Jones as well. Um, and from the linebacker spot, playing a little fullback, seals off the backer, does a great job with it. So many of your guys that are playing both ways are really buying in. Guys are continuing to play hard. They get a nice ball down the field. Uh, we've got to work a little bit better on down the field, playing the ball, doing those things, but our guys doing a pretty good job. Isaiah McGuire, a nice tackle there. Uh, plays, has played very well for us from the defensive uh, end position. And you can see right here we come in, there's one of those big plays by JoJo. Just lays the punter out. And uh, I thought we were gonna get to go the other way with it. Elijah's right there. Uh, they called him down. Uh, but again, a big play in special teams. Run the stretch play, trying to get out. They had a lot of stuff balled up inside. Trying to get the ball down the field and just off the mark there to Jaquay. Again, nice job. We get the screen out here. Look at the blocking down the field. Uh, great job there by Shadel and of course, uh, Henry out there blocking well, doing a good job with their O-line. Uh, outstanding job. Their linebacker uh, slips through us, gets a little run through, uh, creates a problem for us. Uh, Nick Jones blocking well, but they pursued well and, and were able to, to stop us there on that fourth down. Talk about gang tackling right a lot, there. A lot of tackling in there. Keith Dorsey in there coming in on the blitz. They run a little screen to it. And there's Elijah making a nice play, fighting through three or four uh, blockers there on that edge. Uh, guys just did an outstanding job with it. Very athletic quarterback, and he's a guy that you, you've got to contain. Love the extra effort, Jaquan and, and uh, Watts coming back, keeping them from scoring the touchdown there. Quarterback breaks the tackle. You can just see the way our guys are rallying around. Again, another outstanding play there by Elijah. We've got the blitz coming off the edge, a lot of pressure. The ball's uh, out of bounds there, good coverage down the field. Uh, just kind of trying to, to keep our, our guys playing tough. Got to wrap up a little bit better there, but love the way our guys come around making a play. Trey is in there on the tackle, making them earn everything that they can. Love the pursuit out of Nick and JoJo in there. Get the blitz from Rogers. He's there uh, applying pressure, and, and we're able to, right before the half, keep him out of the end zone and go in uh, with the 17-point lead. Really brought some wood, too. I mean, you talked about Dawson Proc. He sets the edge. Nick really brings it with him. I've really seen your defense kind of ramp it up the last few weeks. Well, they really have, and, and it's kind of contagious. We're hoping we can continue to carry it on. All right, so we'll see if you can carry it on in the second half. We'll get the second half highlights of Union and Putnam North coming up next on the Union Football Coaches Show. My dad's always saying a little extra effort now will really pay off later. Here's how you can put in just a little extra effort and help out our schools in a big way. Just switch your checking account to TTCU. It's easy, you get $150 just for switching. And every time you use your school pride card, TTCU donates to our schools. So far, over a million dollars. They're the only ones doing that. So make the switch to TTCU and be the person who's making a difference for our schools. Are you out of high school and looking for a career? At Tulsa Tech, you can explore exciting opportunities in IT, aviation, automotive, manufacturing, visual arts, and more. And Tulsa Tech offers a tuition-free scholarship for adults 18 to 23 years old. That's what I said, free. It's called the Accelerating Independent Scholarship. It's like fast-tracking into a career you love, can make money in, and a career with a future. Find out more about Tulsa Tech's Accelerating Independent Scholarship at tulsatech.edu. Welcome back for yet another edition of the Union Football Coaches Show. Second half highlights now of Union and Putnam City North. Rick Corey along with the head coach, Kirk Frederick, starting on defense. Challenged our guys. It felt like we didn't finish the second quarter as strongly as we should. Uh, we obviously had a 17-point lead, but we wanted to come out and set the tempo. And you see right away Darius Murdoch. What a great play. Get an intentional grounding on that one. Darius Murdoch outstanding. You see Nick coming in with the quarterback pressure. 
You got Keith Dorsey right there. Uh, again, our guy's just playing so tough inside. Uh, he's trying to throw the ball down the field. And JoJo Nichols with the interception. JoJo, keep it down the near sideline for us, please, as he come, comes across. Most of the guys uh, don't know which direction he's going, but man, what a play. Outstanding job. Guys uh, blocking the intended receiver. Uh, lots of good plays. You see JT right there blocking for him downfield, and, and JoJo gives the offense the ball in the red zone. He just wanted to get his hands out of the way. Yeah, no doubt about it. There's Elijah carrying the football inside. Got good play action right there. Uh, just off the mark, trying to get the ball there to uh, Brock. Uh, nice, nice play that I think we'll connect on in the future. Outstanding job. There's a touchdown to KP, and what a beautiful ball just laid in there perfectly by Peyton. Outstanding job, good protection, just puts the ball right in that corner. Uh, what, a, what a great job, and uh, the fans that are down that corner, I think uh, Coach Danzi uh, working the gate there, got to see a nice touchdown. Defense back to work. You see Panther in there clogging it up. Got a defensive lineman chasing it down there, McGuire, and of course Trey making a nice play, Jaquan in there. They mishandled this snap, and we're, we're right inside there trying to get to the ball, and trying to get the, the recovery, and what do you know, we've got the ball again, and, and uh, uh, McGuire makes a nice play, bringing the football over to his coach, and, and uh, offense has got the ball again right here near the red zone. I believe we were seven for eight in the red zone uh, the other night, and uh, the, the eighth one I think was the field goal, so uh, our offense was very efficient in the red zone. Come back here, Darius gets the touchdown. And uh, very proud of the way the offensive line blocked up front. You can see what a great angle here. What a great job. You got Brock wrapping around the corner there. You got it caved down really well on that left side there by Stromberg, and we're able to walk into the end zone. Keith Dorsey coming up, does a great job uh, fitting from his safety position. What I love about this, he gets run over and then gets right back up and makes a play. Well, they did have a couple of athletes, like you there, mentioned. There is no doubt about it. Little bit of holding inside there, but man, that doesn't does not keep our guys from playing hard and tough. You can see right there, Trey makes a nice play. Got some guys rallying. A lot of really good pursuit. You see Elijah coming in, pushing him out of there. Darius Murdoch chasing him, and you just see a lot of activity from our from our defense the way they're flying around. What a beautiful picture there of a block kick. Anytime you can block a kick, and uh, JT McLeod comes in. Lays out for a really nice um, uh, blocked punt. What do you know? Our offense got the ball inside the 20 again. again. So uh, this first four minutes we challenged our guys with, man, we really rallied. And I think we scored uh, 28 points in this quarter and, and just really uh, our guys played outstanding. Good block by Mason Givens and Stromberg. And uh, we're able to get into the end zone. Yeah, at one point, you had gone a total of 60 yards for like three scores. <laughs> oh, what a great play here. A lot of our guys coming in, Proc, and of course, uh, Trey Thompson making nice stops. We're, we're able to get a couple of different guys in the game right now. Kind of a mixture of guys. Damari Beard and Gibbs are in there at the D-line. Uh, you see Peoples there. A lot of guys chasing there, uh, forcing guys out of bounds. Josh Frederick. Uh, forcing him there. We get another great play by JoJo. Uh, same, same song, different verse there. Uh, just an outstanding job for, for Joe as they mishandle the snap. That punter had to be Tyrese in 22. There's no doubt about it. Xavier walks in for his second touchdown. Uh, senior on homecoming. Uh, outstanding job at tailback. Makes some nice plays. Love the, love the uh, forced fumble there. A lot of guys in there scrambling, trying to make plays. And uh, just Kind of creating a team that was 5-0, and came in with a lot of confidence. Kind of a nightmare night for those guys uh, coming into to Tuttle Stadium. And that's what we love to do is, is try to create some of those nightmares for them. A uh, little bit too, too good of coverage down the field by A.J. And uh, uh, gives them a fresh set of downs. But you see A.J. comes back, makes a nice stop there. Outstanding job. Gets a little bit of the edge. Our corners are coming up and fitting well, making some nice plays. They're moving the football just a little bit on us, uh, but our guys continuing to play well. Jaquan Sanders down the field with coverage there. See Gage Wright in there at defensive line, senior defensive nose guard making uh, some good pressure on it. Gives the ball back. You see Xavier Dandridge 
run the football really well. Good blocking out there by Kenny Avery. Got a nice, nice uh, block in there by Harker. Harker's doing a great job with it. Uh, really proud of uh, a lot of those seniors that were able to, to get into the game. Yeah, I got a new quarterback in Trent Dismat out there. Yep, Trent's in there now making some nice uh, decisions. Uh, Jalen uh, Smith, number 23 senior, uh, just does a great job at, at uh, running the football, had his opportunity uh, to carry the ball and, and really ran with a lot of power behind his pads and did a really nice job for us. See some guys in there making some nice blocks. Eglinton in there uh, blocking well. Another uh, senior uh, offensive lineman making a nice play. Just off the mark there, but uh, uh, Trent with the little uh, swing pass out to the tailback. Again, our guys uh, playing really well, um, continuing to, uh, to make some plays with, with really some subs that are in the game, but uh, doing a good job of, uh, with their opportunity to play. Elijah Gorey at D-line, and what a great play. Micah coming in, making a nice stop. You know he's a wrestler as well, and you can tell right there he gets a hold of you, he's going to bring you down. Got good pressure coming in uh, by Harris. And uh, they're just able to float that one over the top. Nice play um, on for PC North. Coming back, good coverage down the field. Really proud of Grant, the way he cut that play off. Uh, Grant Crooms, nice job from the safety position. Makes an outstanding play. Good coverage by Palmer, uh, senior corner. Davion Palmer uh, had that route sniffed out from the beginning. Got good uh, pursuit inside there. You got Keegan King making a nice play at linebacker. And, uh, you know, we're into that fourth quarter and we're trying to do everything we can to keep them from scoring. And unfortunately, uh, they're able to connect. They've got good players as well and, and um, get the touchdown on us. Kind of a little, little uh, view of the future here with uh, A.J. Green. What an outstanding track athlete he is. And as he's learning to play a lot of good snaps, uh, a varsity play, got a nice kick return, very fast and gets the ball outside uh, for an outstanding uh, kick return. Nice to know you got him for a couple more years. <laughs> Without a doubt. Got, again, nice uh, uh, running inside there by Jalen. Our guys up front, look at the push. We get in there, Matthew Harker with the, just kind of caves the, uh, the play down there. Does an outstanding job with it, uh, with the block. And you can see that Jacob Fuller in there as well. Jacob making a nice uh, hole. Good blocking down the field. Love the block by Ethan Paul. Anytime you get a receiver that's blocking well downfield, uh, that's just an outstanding opportunity um, for those, those guys blocking downfield. Uh, just gives us a, a, a nice shot in the arm for our running game. Love the play here um, by Avante. Avante, a junior running back, uh, just runs the ball angry and uh, just has a great job uh, busting a big 20-yard run for us. There's Jalen coming in, just running over people. Great job there by Jalen. And uh, you get, get us down inside there, and he's not going to be denied. He's going to find a way to get into the end zone. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he, you took him out for the one play, but I think he wanted back yeah, for that he TD, wanted, didn't he? He definitely yeah. wanted back in there. And I uh, love seeing a senior have an opportunity to make a play. Keith Dorsey, the nice tackle down the field. they got a big old running back in there right now. It's going to take a lot of us to get us in there. Jacob Bajek. Uh, in there making a nice play at, at, um, at defensive line, sophomore defensive lineman making a nice play. Stanton Coleman at corner uh, down the field, got a little bit of pass interference off of it, but uh, again, in position, ready to make that play. You can see our guys again chasing, making a nice play. Joe Cleary uh, out there doing a nice job. Elijah Gorey with the pressure. See Jacoby Gibbs coming in, making a nice play. And uh, they get behind us there, but they're unable to execute the play. Taking shots down the field, there's Palmer again making a nice stop, and uh, we're able to, to stop them on that second uh, time there in the fourth quarter and pick up the win. Yeah, I know you, you want those no touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I get that. And I saw your first team defense down there kind of exploring those guys on. But I still thought that was a really well-rounded performance by a lot of guys. It really was. All three phases, we had some great things take place. On the offense, uh, and our special teams made plays defensively. Lots of different guys got to play. Uh, all in all, it was a good homecoming night. Yeah, especially against a team that was 5-0. and up. All right, so when we come back, we're going to take a look at up close and personal and talk about a Thursday game at Moore next on the Union Football Coaches Show.
Hey Union students, show off your Union spirit by wearing Union gear, only available at the U-Wear store. The U-Wear store has athletic gear, clothing, and other merchandise so that you and your friends can look stylish while repping the U. The U-Wear store has the best quality items and is partnered up with major brands such as Nike, Under Armour, and even Champion. For a limited time, Union High School students who present their ID at checkout will receive 10% off all items. So stop by the U-Wear store today and reward yourself with some awesome gear. Tim shares his jacket. Don thinks he's kind of nice. Danny shares with Beth. On a beach in paradise. Robert shares his dance moves. Then he shares a spin. Victor shares with Emily. But she's more into Quinn. Kevin shares a song and the spotlight with Colleen. Nick shares with Ben's sister, the DJ who's 19. Deja shares with Curtis. After her curfew. Sharon's, Sharon's always better when I share a Coke with you. Welcome back once again on the Union Football Coaches Show. Kirk Frederick, the head coach of the Redskins. I'm Rick Corey. Let's get right to up close and personal. See some wonderful shots of this game. Yeah, outstanding shots. And uh, I always love uh, seeing how the game is captured in these pictures. There's Peyton right there. Really nice form, elbow high. Uh, just uh, has really had some outstanding uh, games these last few weeks. Michael Panther, Trey Thompson, those guys. Uh, really swarming defense uh, by our linebackers and our uh, defensive line this, this game. Xavier Dandridge, that's on that uh, tailback out of the backfield, that little wheel route on that touchdown. Fun to see a senior uh, making plays. Just want to know is what it looks like from ground up, I guess. KP uh, in there gets a, gets a nice shot there, camera shot of KP holding the ball with Noah, a 30-yard field goal. Ricky Stromberg on a big sack. Of course, uh, Peoples in there as well. And uh, Dawson Proc in the background. Gabe Cantu at center and Ryan Rodriguez, a senior guard. Those guys working uh, side by side. Just did a really nice job in the offensive line. And then of course, JoJo Nichols on the interception. And you can see, uh, uh, I believe uh, that is uh, JT McLeod blocking for him up front. A couple of seniors there, really, all four seniors in there, but Nick Jones, Trey Thompson, Elijah Tomlin, and, and uh, McGuire in there. Uh, just four guys on the tackles, a, a pretty good defense. I love the look on Nick's face. Yeah, I love that, <laughs> that too. And then Darius, a lot of touchdowns there, did a nice job. How about our safeties coach, uh, Luke Snyder. Uh, coach Snyder has seen a lot of football games, either watching his brothers play or his dad coach, and then of course, played for us and now coaching and doing an outstanding job. You couldn't tell if that was fanatical encouragement right there or if you just smelled a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Our guys uh, on that sideline are pretty intense yeah. and, and trying to make corrections and coaching our kids uh, for the whole game. Yeah, you're going to get a chance to coach your kids on a Thursday night. This game had been, for a lot of people, they thought it was going to be a Friday game at Moore. It's going to be a Thursday game at Moore. It does shorten your week. How do you yeah. prepare? Well, challenge, you know, change your calendar just a little bit, and it does – it does affect us. Thursday games are, are uh, an adjustment, but you know, really at this uh, point in the season, when you see a team that, that plays a very similar uh, offensive scheme to the week before, so that'll help us. And uh, we'll just have to travel a little early and get recovered a little bit quicker. The cooler weather ought to help us, but uh, uh, we're excited about a tough Moore team that, that uh, has played well this year. And, and look forward to a tough challenge against a really good quarterback. And how much does it help that you've already made a big long road trip to Mustang? I think it has, does help. You know, we're going to try to obviously uh, try to piggyback off of that and tell our kids, hey, think about the way that you traveled, the things that we did, what we had to go through uh, to get yourself prepared to play, and hopefully we can start fast like we had the last few games. All right, so don't show up in more on Friday because you'll just be all by yourself. Well, there's another game in that stadium, but it won't be the right guys. Otherwise, we'll see you Thursday and more next week again on the Union Football Coaches Show.